I'm Beth Clark. I'm with GE Renewable Energy, and I'm responsible for the supply chain for offshore wind in North America. As a kid, we were leaving a fair, and I had a red balloon, and I accidentally let it go. And I started sobbing, and my mom was like, it's just a balloon, we'll get you another one. And I was worried that it was gonna pop, get stuck in a whale's blowhole, and kill a whale. So I first wanted to save the whales, then the rainforest, then figure out how to fix the hole in the ozone. And I went and I got my degree in environmental studies with a concentration in public policy and got incredibly fortunate after college to join GE in their onshore wind business. I've been with GE for over 11 years. When I was thinking about joining GE, it did not enter my mind that I was going into a predominantly male industry. When I talked to the folks who were doing this role and heard how excited they were and the type of work that they were doing, all I knew is that's where I wanted to be. I've got to do all sorts of things, from project management to supply chain, everything from commercial to services. I had the opportunity to go to Germany and train people to do the job. There is great potential in offshore wind and a very lofty target of 30 gigawatts by 2030. And so when you just think about making that happen, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. It's one of the things I like when there's nothing, you figure out how to go build it and make it become a reality. I think probably one of the most pivotal mentors was the first person I worked for who saw potential in me and very early on said, okay, fine, these are your projects. You're going to do this. I'm part of the African American Forum leadership and that is GE's oldest employee resource group. GE's groups, they're incredible. There's the Women's Network, the Veterans Network, Hispanic Forum, GE's Pride Alliance. The AAF, we do recruiting at college campuses and then there are internship programs. I think what Bristol Community College is trying to do in creating pathways and showing talent potential opportunity is like really connecting dots. This is a great opportunity to be in this space at this time. I feel like if someone came to me and said, Beth, should I, shouldn't I get involved in offshore or renewable? I would want to know what, what lights a person up, right? If they like being part of a team, what type of challenges they like. And if you think it could be in renewable energy, pursue it. Get on LinkedIn, find people, go ahead, send me a message. I think the other thing that I would want to say is don't select yourself out of something that you're interested in. My whole career has been a lot of zigging and zagging and sometimes, you know, it's in the detour that you find your way. If you can get clear for yourself about what lights you up and use that as your kind of guiding star, go for it. Thank <music> you.